Hey guys, Xavier here, and today I am back in Genshin Impact. I'm continuing on with the Dark Knight story. Basically, what is the a Batman parody in Genshin Impact? Yep, gotta, I've got to wait until 7 p.m. It's nine. It's nearly 10 a.m. Quest fam. Post as a customer and speak to Dilly. Hey, Dilly. Greetings, like Mr. Bar? Hoffman of the Knights of Favonius. To what do I owe the pleasure at this hour? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm merely procrastinating. I thought I might indulge myself with a beverage or two. Ah, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, yeah. we were in the mood for an evening stroll. Hey, I'm old enough what to drink. Like Come to on, drink? give me a... Give me a... Sake. I'll have a... Dandelion wine, I suppose. Ooh, Pyro wants apple juice. Hey, I'll just find one. <laughs> Aw, but Paimon forgot to bring her a coin pouch. Do you have any more on you? Uh, I also forgot to bring my million dollars. <laughs> then I must regretfully ask you to come back when you can pay. Well, in that case, let this be my treat. Oh, thank you, Huffman. Uh, no need. We'll be back in a jiffy. Let's go and leave the tavern now. I can't give up. With the uh, liar Jose next to the door. Huffman showed up, just as expected. Okay, remember the plan? Go to the city side gate and place the elemental bait. Don't mind me, guy. Whoa! You used all of it! This is gonna be pretty epic. Why did Yikes. I use all of it? Here comes the slimes! Quick, let's get to the tavern before anyone spots us! Okay. Guy's gonna be like the last person that has any evidence of us doing anything. Captain Kaya is no doubt a formidable knight, but he also brings us more than his share of hassle. Uh, no, no, this isn't right. I should not be talking about my superior in such a manner. If he were to overhear me... We're back! Is my apple juice ready? <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Mr. Huffman! Mr. Huffman! A situation at the side gate! Everyone to the side gate! What is it? What, what happened? Oh no, what happened? Uh, it's... Slimes, Mr. Huffman! <clears throat> slimes? You see them all the time. What's the big panic? It's a massive amount, isn't it? We do, but... Sir, there are more slimes out there now than all the slimes I've seen in my life added together! Uh, whoa! Surely this couldn't be the Abyss Order's secret weapon. But I have another matter to attend to here. Oh? The matter of your dandelion wine? No, no, I, I, uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is how the Knights of Favonius conduct themselves <laughs> in a crisis. The Abyss Order is encroaching on the city gates, and your response is to sit here drinking wine? It's oh. like I've always said, the knights are not to be trusted. I... Uh, Master G. Luke is right. Mm. My conduct here has been below par. I shall set off at once. But first... Mm. May I have a quiet word? Okay. Huh? Shh, keep your voice down. I presume you know what this is about. Please watch D. Look for me. Do <laughs> not let him oh. leave under any circumstances. I must head to the side gate, but I'll be back shortly. I'm counting on you. Oh, we're gonna be late at the night. Good. That's him out of the way. Everything's going according to plan. I must get going too. I won't have a second to spare if I'm to be back in time. Go, D. Look. Face the abyss or head on at the at Mushat's front gate. I can't give up. Let's go. So 
Ah, there you are. Okay, Dilu. Get the bird, though. Dealing with you will be the easy part. Come on, let me get in on this epic battle. OP. OP weapon user. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Come on, me, boys. Burn. Well, that's one way to deal with the problem. D Luke is just nothing more than a few out. hilly churls. No time to chat. I don't know how long those slimes will keep Huffman occupied. Best get back to the tavern. Yeah. Back to the tavern we go. <sighs> Glad that's settled. Let's get back to the tavern. Do you think Huffman is back yet? Okay. We just we just gotta get to the tavern before Huffman does. Shouldn't be that hard. We're gonna get back and Huffman's gonna be there. And we're gonna be suspected of being the, the Dark Knight hero, I think. It seems Huffman hasn't yet returned. Oh, thank goodness. He made it in time. Whew. We're all good. <sighs> the situation is sorted now. I never expected that the Abyss Order's army would turn out to be nothing more than a few slimes. <laughs> that is a surprise. Yeah. Perhaps the Knight's true calling is to be slime exterminators. <laughs> Who knows? Domestic pest control may turn out to be a more valuable use of oh! your resources. Hey, <sighs> D. Luke! Master D. Luke, please, have you no respect at all? Why yes, he does not. So much? You didn't leave, did you? Uh, I just been doing my exercises. I just did some squats. Is that so? But why now, of all times, for the love of Barbados? Why not? Uh oh, uh -oh. Huffman is getting suspicious. Uh, hmm. Excuse me, sir. Might I be so bold as to inquire? Did you see Master D. Luke? Uh, I mean, today's bartender. Uh, did you see him leave just now? Uh, um... Yikes! He's asking other customers! We're done for! Master D. Luke? Why, no. He's been behind the bar this entire time. Oh, he's got the middle of it! He's got the middle of it! <laughs> Mr. Huffman, your dandelion wine. You ought to get back after this. 
Send my regards to the rest of the knights. Oh. I the Never like, mind. Was ready I must be for going. That I should report back. Thing. Here, take this as a token of my esteem. Hmm. How odd. Huh. Ooh, that was too close. Paimon was sure we were toast. He had the... He paid I foresaw this eventuality. So, all the guests here tonight, save you two, are my own people from the Dawn Winery. Hey. They're all in on it? Not all of them. Or should I say, not all of us. Oh, he knows. Kaya, where did you come he knows. from? He's not all along. I just picked a good spot to quietly sit and oh, watch he figured the it show. Out. Uh. What? You've been here this whole time? Correct. The Dark Knight Heroes Alibi. I think it's my favorite chapter so far. More intriguing than a fine wine. Nice. <sighs> so, you plan to report everything to the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> Come now, yeah. Duke. You know me better than that. I have no interest in exposing secrets. I was just curious to see how far Mondstadt's Dark Knight hero would really go. And you did not disappoint. Yeah, I have influence. nothing to prove to you. Oh, naturally. I must say, though, one thing I didn't see coming is that the mighty Dark Knight hero would actually need help from other people. Sorry, we're closing. Please see yourselves out. All right, okay, all right. Don't need to kick I have out. no further need of wine to entertain myself tonight in any case. Just one last thing before I go. It had better be the very last thing. I feel strangely comforted by the fact you now have an assistant, D. Luke. <laughs> in the, in I hope me? you all have a wonderful night. Bye, Kaya. You said the bit What was all that about? Don't mind him. Yeah, he can be. Thank you way. for all your help with this matter. This is a token of my gratitude. Wow! Thanks, Master D. Luke. Wait, I'm is in that... the habit of working alone, but I did enjoy having your assistance this time. Wait, is that in it? the future? The if there's anything you ever need, you can come to me for help. I could have done this in the last episode. Ah. Oh. oh, it is to be continued though. We have a new story quest to cover. I really need the story quests. Because that will get me characters. So I do have some, I got these here, but, but then these are hangout ones. So wait, uh, my only other storyline, like story quest thing is in Liwe Harbor. Okay. Ham, where do you think you're going? We need to get back right away! I just teleported here, Paimon. Wallin Bookhouse. Guess this is where we go to buy book. Feel free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. Wait, what? We're looking for the Leeway volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? I... Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Monster volume was so interesting! So wait, now we're going to find the, uh... The thing the is, Louis. the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. Okay. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Too much passion, not enough clarity? Well, that's a shame. The Monster volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Chang the Ninth? Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse village. 
He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself okay, if the so conversation is I'm about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Wait, who's this? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Who are you? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho, a Sing humble Cho. literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Cheng the Ninth? Makes sense. Please lead the way. My pleasure, fellow book lover. So, Chick Chow is not one like character. Not a character. Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Liu a volume of the Tibet Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting. So, are you buying or not? Nah, I'm just stealing books from you. That's what I always do. Hey, take the knife. Hi, that's nice uh, The heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Excuse me, are you Chang the Ninth? Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. Books. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. Y y After the chasm to. was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. Yeah. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? You're sad you've got nothing to read now? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for yeah, them. I knew and both now those they're gone. Gone, I tell you. He's angry. <sighs> it's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. I have a billion. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please I have tell me that you didn't million. pawn volume six of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? <laughs> that work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published. Yeah. But over time, it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, Ooh. that's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Ooh. Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Uh, hey, Chang. Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Uh, <sighs> you again? Yeah, same. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's, That's your point. business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> How much are you gonna Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, 
disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> I messed up a seat. Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> What's Guhua? Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Come on, kick his ass. <laughs> Just you wait. You'll be sorry kick you crossed ass, me. Man. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> core lapis. Oh, how the wolves lapis? prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Two words. Situational awareness. Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please just take this book and leave me in peace. Wait. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great yeah. act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Guhua. Hey, where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here. Uh, by my, I think the other books are gone. Like, the books we need are gone. Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not stopping and starting my movement here. My keyboard is deciding that I cannot function at 100%. You like reading, huh, Mr. Five Second Hero? Five Second oh, Hero? Oh, amazing! I never saw that coming. The... Hello? Xingqiu? Anybody Xingqiu? in there? Hello? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. <sighs> that bossy guy back at Chang sounds like he's working for a gen gentry mouthguy. How can they bully poor old Chang the Ninth like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery! Pure and simple! You and I have got to find a way to help Shane the knife. Don't forget me. I'm in too. Well, oh, you just. Well, so now yeah. you can hear what we're saying. You did make a book disappear. You the reason useful. I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I'm in every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. You already have a plan, don't you? Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Oh, so Give me half, a second to reflect. Half, half. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. Would you lack in numbers and talent you make up for in guts? Hey, I've oh, seen Oh, I'm sorry. That Did I say goofball clan? I meant Guhua clan. <laughs> That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> oh. There's a saying that goes the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Come uh, on. Quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon. Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <sighs> it's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all, but you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guhua buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. But what about I may be young, me? my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? 
Oh, great God. speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Let's. There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> oh, he's a water <laughs> Rain outlines your fate. The hunter. The merrier. I like the war ability. That's really useful. Let me amuse myself. Get out of here. Time to act. <laughs> Let me leave you a verse. You really know how to get me going. <laughs> I see you being really kinky right now. I thought that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. You won this round, mm. but you better watch your back. This isn't over. Yeah, you can't trust anyone around here. Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? So you're a vision bearer. Yes. Though I try to avoid using it, I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business, and I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute, but the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. He okay. mentioned Gentry Maotai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liu Harbor. Hey, we go back Maybe to the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works, but what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liwa Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Hey, wow. Fibo, what are you So that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just extraordinary. <laughs> right back in the book. This guy is so annoying. Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face. First, let's help train the knife. <laughs> Fine. But, as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. Go on. From now on, he shall be known as... Guha Geek. Guha Geek. You go first. No need to wait for me. One more page and I'll go and stretch my legs. Just one last page. You gotta finish that book before you do any exercise. Hello. Who goes there? I'm not sure merchant here for a meeting with Gentry uh, Maokai. Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The master is dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Okay. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Just anyone? Are you saying we are not his VIP clients? Uh, no. I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. Would you like to explain these extra fees you're incurring to your boss, or shall I? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. Thank you. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Oh, well, he won't. My master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be oh, the last thing on his go mind when show he's busy from negotiating me. a big business mm. deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. <laughs> I was just bluffing. Is that so? Now Paimon knows not to let your wily ways get the better of her in the future. Any 
Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. This could work in our favor, actually. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue kiosk. Zeke's business is booming at the Shinue kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Oh, if only you could hit the bell. I'll keep this close. At you wait. Oh, that's disappointing. About as disappointing as my keyboard not really deciding it wants to work. I understand. I do. Please do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Okay. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing okay. for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are agent? willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man, Chang. Okay. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Yeah, of course. He needs the information. And they both disappear like ghosts. Oh, he's up. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's, that's your hire. Really? Hmm. You said you had other things to look into, as if you're some sort of man of mystery. He has looked into When stuff. actually, all you meant was you wanted somewhere new to park your backside while you read your book. We know what Gentry Malkai is up to now. I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My yeah, wish, we are just for your... reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. A secret text that needs a cipher, perhaps. Uh, hence why I said there's no need for you to read it. Bad handwriting. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. Bad handwriting. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big big commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? What is the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. How can you be so sure? Gentry Mautsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Chang the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. 
This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. That's Each a... droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. Okay. That sounds that very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. <laughs> Someone from the guild should be able to receive you. Yeah, he just wants pavilion. to read his book. Hey, stop ignoring Paimon! Paimon, you, you, you're, you're right. He just... He just wants to read his book. Let's just leave him to read the book. He's not our problem to deal with. Hey, who? Excuse us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. Why are you suddenly talking like Shing Chu? A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Again? Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? And mm. he just reads it. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Uh, wait, what? Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Li Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Ooh, nice. Yeah, tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Uh, of the... course. We That's treat really... visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Mm. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. A lot of this has just been like listening in on conversations and lying. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. I've been here before. Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mount Tsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Mount Tsai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Ooh. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liwa is huge! Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of core lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your of further course, cooperation in the course. matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. Ah, that's there is surprise. also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many mora! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! The Feiyun Commerce Guild is certainly generous with its resources. <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang the Ninth. Hmm. I'm gonna end this episode here. Just because, like, it's getting like it's the beginning of the next section of the story uh so yeah i'm gonna end this episode here links will be in the description to the main channel and the second channel for you guys to 
check out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so your next video comes out. Ding, ding. And Xavier, Xavier.